Hey guys, so I am back from California and I am safe and I just want to say thank you for all of your comments and messages worrying about me with this Hurricane Sandy. I really appreciate it. We are okay. Um, we did lose power, but what are you going to do? So we've just kind of been having one big slumber party with all of our families and <laughs> just trying to keep warm. So um, I hope that if you were affected by the storm or your loved ones that you're, you're getting out of the woods and that you guys are safe and sound and, and doing okay. Um, but with that being said, I picked up a few things in California that I wanted to share with you. Something super excited. I can't wait to show this to you. Um, I'm going to save that until the end of the video. So I didn't get a lot of stuff, but stuff that I did get I wanted to share with you. Um, we went to South Coast Plaza in Costa Mesa and just kind of spent one of the days, one of the mornings there. And um, I just love that mall. I love that mall so much. Anyway, so we went to Saks and um, I went to the Chanel counter. I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I wanted to uh, get a new powder because I was all basically, well I finished my MAC MSF Natural so I needed to get a new powder and um, a lot of people on that video left comments and sent me messages saying that um, the Bare Minerals one was like a really heavy coverage. I didn't get good feedback about the Bare Minerals one and somebody actually said it best. Um, they said the Bare Minerals one is more like Studio Fix Powder and the Chanel is more like MSF Natural, which is exactly what I want. I didn't want like a full coverage foundation powder. I just wanted something kind of sheer that would just even out my skin tone if I needed it or set my makeup, set my liquid foundation. So I ended up going with the Chanel and I, w I got the Natural Finish Press Powder and I'm really happy with it. I've been using it ever since I've gotten it and I, I really like it. So it has this little pouch that's such a waste. And they color matched me right away to number 30 natural. It's translucent number two. And um, it comes, whoops, little puff, but I, don't, I just use a brush. And it just looks like this, just pressed powder. Um, one thing I will say was kind of disappointing. After a couple times of me using it, it, it kind of like, it didn't cake, but it got like, like a hard coating, which has happened to me before with... Um, like eyeshadows and powders and sometimes if you're oily or something or you're using dirty brushes which I don't use and literally it happened like through the like the third time I was using it which I thought was really weird um so I kind of had to like scratch off the top layer which you can see which is kind of a bummer because it's expensive and I had to do that but um it's just a very translucent powder I'm just wearing it today over my Maker Macro Makeup Forever HD liquid foundation and I really really like it it does really remind me of um, the MAC MSF natural powder so I do really like this and I like that it's just a simple compact and easy to throw in your purse for touch-ups and things like that and then I also picked up a lipstick the Rouge Coco lipstick in Mademoiselle and um, I have had this on my list for a very long time. It's, I feel like a cult favorite from Chanel, and I'm surprised I haven't had it sooner. But it's definitely, to me, like a fall color. And um, I love it. It's what I have on now, and it looks like this. The lighting's actually really on my side today, so that's exciting. So you can get like a true swatch. That's what it looks like. If you're in the market for a really nice fall color, I um, would definitely recommend this. And I will say that... This is a very nice formula. It doesn't feel like it dries your lips out at all. I have been wearing it with the Makeup Forever 2C Aqua Lip Liner as a base. It's kind of like a perfect match. And um, the lasting power on my lips is amazing. So if you're in the market for a color that will last you a long time and still look really fresh, I would definitely recommend the Mademoiselle color. And it's like I said, it's a really nice color for fall. It's a bit of a bolder color, but I feel like it's very wearable. And then we headed into MAC. I had a bunch of containers and I wanted to back to MAC. And I just got one lipstick back to MAC for in the color Rebel. Which when I made that video a little while back about my favorite bold lipsticks. A lot of people recommended this. Which it looks very scary at first when you see it. Um, but swatched it's really pretty and it doesn't come off as scary. And it is a satin. So it does have like a nice sheen. It's this one right here. And um, Emily Clark was wearing this in one of her recent videos. It looked amazing on her. So that was kind of just like the push over the edge that I needed to get this lipstick. So was happy to get rid of a whole bunch of empties. That felt really good. 
And then we headed into one of my most favorite stores in the whole world. I feel like it's like a little, not a little, it's like a girl's playground. It's Henry Bendel. And um, I don't have a store anywhere near me. The closest one to me is in um, King of Prussia. So I was super thrilled to go into this one. If you guys are ever in New York City, you have to go to their flagship store on Fifth Avenue. It's literally like... Oh, the most amazing place in the world. It's such a good store, and it's like three levels, and they have everything from jewelry and accessories, handbags, to makeup, like tons of different makeup counters, Chanel, um, NARS, like just everything, and the sales associates are so friendly, and everybody's willing to help you, and I will also tell you that they have some of the best gifts. If you ever need a gift for somebody, whether it's Christmas, birthday, housewarming, the place to go. It's the most amazing place ever. Um, I already have a little Christmas list going of stuff that I saw and a little list of things that I need to pick up for friends and family for Christmas. They just make some of the most amazing and they're just packaged so pretty. Like everything is packaged so pretty. So if you ever need anything, anything, like candles, scarves, like they just have so many cute things. So, um, they, and they always wrap everything super cute too. I picked up two bangles. I'm subscribed to their emails and this one came across on my email a couple weeks ago and I was like, I need to get that. It's a rose gold and um like it's not I think it's Swarovski crystal elements it's just clear crystals but it's rose gold probably plated so you can just see like a hint of the rose gold peeking out when it's on your wrist um but it's a pretty thin bangle and if you've been watching my videos for a while you know I have a kind of sick obsession with Henry Bendel bangles um it's a very thin bangle it's so shiny and I just love that the rose gold kind of just peeks out um from behind and then the little clasp you just lift it up to kind of get it off. And they had this same bangle in silver and then in gold with different color crystals. So I love this. Love it. Love it. And then I also saw this bangle in the store, which I think these are called their tuxedo bangles. I took the label off. Um, but it looks like this. And again, they have these in all different colors. It's silver and it has these little like raised studs across the top. And then the sides is this like kind of like snakeskin python material, which is really cool. And then the clasp, you can see you just flip this. It's a really secure clasp and then press down and it just the little top comes off so the whole bangle doesn't open. But um, I've been wearing this like every day with my love bangle. They just pair so nicely together. I am obsessed. I love these. So um, I was super excited to get those. And you can always order online, but it's just so much more fun and such an experience to go into that store. So now we are up to the biggest purchase of all. This is something I have been coveting for so long and I have had a million, not a million, I'm exaggerating, so dramatic. I've had a ton of, um, phone calls and I have had a ton of sales associates searching for me for this bag. I have a few other Chanel's and most of them have silver or like a uh, brushed nickel hardware. And so I really wanted a black Chanel with gold hardware but I didn't want a huge bag. I just wanted like a nice crossbody. So I've been really had my eye looking for a wallet on chain a black wallet on chain with gold hardware and for some reason they have become so hard to find. Um, I've been on wait lists and everything and so specifically I wanted the Camilla print. I didn't want just the quilted one because I have a classic quilted bag. So literally anytime I am near um, a Chanel boutique or a Saks that has a Chanel counter I always go in and ask if they have this bag and they never ever do and I even was told by I think the Chanel in New York, Fifth Avenue, that they don't even make this bag anymore. But I was so determined, if anybody knows me, it's like when I have my mind on something that I need to get, it's like I will do anything to get it. And so I, I didn't accept that it was discontinued. I just kept asking every time and I just would expect them to tell me no. But I walked into the Saks in South Coast Plaza. They do not have a Chanel boutique in there because I'm assuming it's because they have a Chanel store which didn't have this bag, in the South Coast Plaza, and met the friendliest sales associate ever. If you guys need anything ever from Saks James in Saks, amazing, amazing. Um, so he was like right there to greet me, and I said I was looking for the Chanel counter, they didn't have one, and he said, but I can order you any bag. And I'm like, well, you probably can't order this bag because I've been wanting it and having a really hard time finding it. He's like, well, which one is it? Looked on their lookbook, couldn't find it, so he ended up calling... I don't know if he called like the Saks headquarters or I don't know. 
He said there was one left in the entire company. And I was like, it needs to be mine. Oh my god. So he pulled some strings. I don't know how he got it. They ended up shipping it to my house because he didn't have it in the store. And oh my god, I'm so excited. So this is the cute little box it comes in. And I already kind of like tore it. Not tore it, but I like went crazy. And I was super hesitant about having them ship it to my house without me seeing it. But I had a picture of it on my phone and he swore to me that it was the same bag, but, and so I trusted him and sure enough it was. So, oh, this is what it looks like. And it's the Camilla, like the famous Chanel little flower. And, um, I'll just take this little thing off. And then of course it has the black with gold hardware. And it's more like a brushed gold. It's not like a real shiny gold. It's very understated and I love it. And basically, if you're not familiar with the wallet on chains, um, it's basically just that. It's a wallet, but it, it's kind of more like a clutch. You can fit a lot of stuff in it, um, more so than you would think. It has six card slots in there. It has another pocket right here that you can kind of slip stuff. And then it has a zipper pouch in the front. Um, the little authenticity card is in there. Um, and then it has another little zipper pouch up here. So it's very small. It's the perfect little bag um, for like a wedding or even just like if you're shopping around at the holidays and you just you don't want to um, lug around like a big bag. And the thing that I love about this is its versatility. So there's so many things you can do with this. So for one, um, the, the, um, the chain is kind of fed through this thing. Typically, you know, it's a pretty long chain. So you can spotty. I think that's the most common way to wear it. You can also just tuck in the chain into the whole bag and just wear it as a clutch, which is really easy to to do. Just tuck it in there and then it's just a really nice little clutch that you can use. I really wanted this just for like weddings and stuff because I don't have like a super nice just simple black clutch. So that was what I wanted it for. So you can tuck it in, wear it as a clutch. Um, you could wear it over your shoulder, but it's super long. So if you didn't want it that long, you just kind of show you. It's hard to show you and without laying it down. You, you kind of like wrap the chain and double it up. And then if you snap it closed, it shortens the chain. And then you could just wear it as a shoulder bag. And it's, it like hits right at your, um, right at your waist. So I like it like that too. You just have so many options with this. That's why I love it. And it's definitely, it's expensive, but it's not as expensive as like a typical um, quilted Chanel bag would run you. So I like that too because you kind of, you get the versatility of it, which is great. You can wear it as a crossbody, you can wear it as a clutch. And really when I go to weddings and things, the most I carry in this is my cell phone, a tube of lipstick, and maybe some tissues. And that's it. I don't even carry a camera anymore because I just use my iPhone. Um, Nick usually has the keys on him, so that's it. And then you have the slots. You can put your cards, your license, cash, whatever. Um, it's just like the perfect little size and it's super, super soft. And I'm just so elated to have this in my possession. You guys have no idea how much I have been after this bag. And I'm just so, so, so relieved to have this. So I just wanted to share this with you. Chanel makes a ton of wallet on chains in all different colors and all different materials with all different color chains. I also love like the simplicity of the chain. It's just so thin compared to some of the other more clunkier chains. But I'm so excited with this bag. I couldn't wait to share it with you guys because I know anybody else that's like a handbag lover like I am would appreciate seeing this. So that is everything. That was my big California haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this video. And I, again, I hope that you're all well and safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye!